Anytime I start talking about this stuff, I get comments about how wool is so much better. Is it really? Because when it comes to staying warm outdoors, you have a lot of options. You can wear wool, you can wear fleece, or you can wear a down jacket. All three can help keep you warm, but which one is the best? Well, the answer is all of them. In fact, I'm wearing all three right now. It's not about which one is better, it's which one is best for what purpose. Because each of them excel in different areas and they can and should be used simultaneously to help keep you warm. The question is, how? Wool works best as a base layer for a number of reasons. First of all, wool is great at wicking moisture. So when you are out and you start working up a sweat, a wool base layer is going to draw that moisture away from your skin, helping you feel drier, even if you're sweating a lot. In fact, wool can absorb up to 30% of its weight in water without feeling damp or clammy. Wool is also antimicrobial, which means after it wicks all that sweat away from your body, it won't smell as bad as other materials like polyester. But the main reason why wool works best as a base layer is actually because of one of its cons. Wool can be heavy, which means it works best when it's worn and its weight is distributed across your body. Most of the time, your base layer is the only layer you aren't going to take off and stow in your pack, which means you probably won't ever feel the weight of the wool like you would other layers that you might take off when you start to heat up from exertion. Which is where fleece starts to excel. Fleece this was actually developed as an alternative to wool fleece. It's made from polyester fibers that are brushed to mimic wool fleece, with one notable exception. It's not as heavy as wool. So when you inevitably take your mid layer off because you're getting too hot, it's not going to feel as heavy in your pack as the same layer if it was made out of wool. And if fleece does get wet, it's going to hold less water and dry faster, making it feel even lighter. And fleece is much more prone to odors, which is why it's best as a mid layer. That way you have a barrier between it and your skin and it won't smell quite as bad. Fleece is great at providing a little extra warmth if you're still feeling cold, even though you're active. It's once you stop that fleece isn't going to be enough, which is where down comes in. Down has one of the highest warm to weight ratios known to man, higher even than NASA developed aerogel infused technology that I talked about in a video a couple weeks ago. This means down is going to work best as an insulating layer and is probably going to spend most of its time in your pack, only coming out when you aren't moving and producing excess heat. Down is also highly compressible, which means it will take up very little room in your pack. Even though it's bigger and thicker, it will take up less space than a fleece or even a thin base layer. The main downside of down is that it doesn't do well when it gets wet. Unlike wool and fleece, it can't wick moisture. That's why down should never be worn when you're actively working up a sweat because it insulates so well it's just going to make you sweat more while also acting as a barrier that prevents that sweat from escaping. It just gets trapped in the down, reducing its ability to loft. Now, treated down can actually perform really well, as I demonstrated in this Nick Wax test, but without that treatment or a recent treatment, wet down can actually be quite dangerous. It's also the reason why you need a good shell, because all these materials will eventually be compromised by moisture in one way or another. Down will go first, fleece once it's saturated, and while wool will continue to insulate while wet, it'll get very heavy and take forever to dry. That's why I recommend you watch this video right here, all about how layering systems are supposed to work. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like, subscribe, and do all those other things. And as always, thanks for watching. <clears throat> I think I actually got it.